And hello, 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 and welcome back to Chaos Child in the Late Night Echo, where I'm recording later than normal. And I'm editing probably way later than normal. Hopefully this goes out on time. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> As I saw the club room for the first time in three days, I was stunned. Part of the reason I have things actually split up, especially during the week, since it gives me a little more leeway than normal. Uh, yeah. Doryoku was stunned. What? Oh, cleaning? Oh, wait, the whole bulletin board is, like, empty now. I've been waiting all morning to tell Itu about the big discovery I made yesterday. I stayed up almost all night finding all the information I could on it, and then forced myself to wait until school ended to tell him. I figured that's just sending pictures to his phone or trying to explain it in words would just confuse him. I want to stay in front of the board in the club room with all the information we learned so far pinned up on it and use the club time to really work through it. How much do you want to bet, Cruz, who took it all down because you thought it was a bad influence on a MC here? It's not wrong. But. You know. I don't know if there's anything on that whiteboard, too, last time. Uh, but. There's nothing there at all. I can only think of one person who would do that. Kuruska. Kino no kaeri giwana. Was it because of what happened in the Love Hotel? In as angry a voice as I could muster, I said, Why did you not stop me? That's why I did my job. I didn't say it, but... That is... a noble effort. Weak will people. Uh, Ito shrugged as if to say, See? Just imagining it scared me a little. Doing something about Kurusu was absolutely impossible. No one Hekio was capable of such a thing. I pointed to the PC on the desk. Is this the evidence that you had to? So the data was gone too. Is this your like safe space that you're keeping it off uh, offline? I saw. I hope not. I would assume not too. You seem like you d didn't even want to um, say that to have a uh, copy of it on her own physical stuff. So. That seems sort of a, like, overboard, but I guess we'll see what he's thinking at the moment. What happened last time? The, oh right, the, the faces. I still think that those are probably being used as, like, security cameras. In, like, in some supernatural way. It's interesting because we haven't had any of that supernatural stuff come up since the beginning. There's a few of those things. I'm trying to think. So one of them was predicting the future. They never really went into exactly the mechanics of how. Exactly how it happened, even from the perspective of the guy. What we did hear about felt like it was sort of, it might have even been like the public persona of how he quote unquote did it online, that sort of thing. I'm not sure they ever went into exactly how he did it. Even from, like like I said, from his perception. The girl was just, she sang and it was in person. So there's some, definitely something local about it, right? Huh. That actually influenced other people. His didn't influence anything. Hmm. Sarka dropped a stack of papers on the desk. 
I looked down, saw that it was images and articles about the case. It was the ones that were uploaded to the newspaper club server. He totally doesn't, does he? Well, yes, but... Not as thorough. Sarah flipped through the papers. Sarah went to stretch a cable from her Pokecom to the PC, but I quickly stopped her. Eklein says Ido as I spoke. The newspaper club server could be accessed from any PC in the school, as long as you knew the password. Cursia was spending her time at the student council getting ready for the culture festival, but there's a chance she might look at the server for some reason. Especially if she's like, Oh, you... MC that hasn't had his name spoken to the point that I actually forget it a lot of the time. Uh, Iso not in agreement. A serious look on his face. <sighs> Good answer. <laughs> See what? Is Kasuki agreeing? She's pounding down on the keyboard and mouse really hard. Serika puffed out her chest, very proud with this information. I didn't care in the slightest. That was probably true, yeah. If we kept following the case as part of our work in the newspaper club, Kirsi was going uh, was smart enough to catch on. And plus, if we have the off-board copies anyways, it's not like uploading it again would compromise it. If we're, We just don't need to rely on that as the uh, main point of access. I simulated a variety of situations in my head. Oh! How do we think this would go? Negative or positive? Love sweets. Something that I knew about too. Wait, what is the sweets? How's that relevant? Once you talk to her, is he thinking about maybe... So buying her something she liked from a famous sweet shop be enough to win her over? Well, he is going that direction. So it does seem like he's naturally going in this direction. Would bribery work on someone is proven proper as the student council president? Well, it's not bribery. You're just putting her in the right mindset to be receptive, right? That's part of persuasion. Even if that's not technically something you're saying. It was worth a try. <laughs> Unless we could win her over, we weren't going to be able to continue the case. Yes. Okay, that is not how he talks. Okay, She was clearly intending to buy something for herself. Well, that was fine. Let, let, let's give the same intensity that the MC is giving to his words. It was time for the mission to begin. <laughs> I knew that Kusu was staying late after school to get ready for the festival. I handed her the present I just bought. Sarah had told me about a pancake place, a pancake place near Shibuya Station. It was a popular store where there was always a line of girls outside. I heard it was one of the few places where you could get pancakes for takeout, so I quickly chose it. Standing in line with the girls for an hour was almost torture. It was almost torture, but somehow I managed to do it. 
これってエックスンサンクスのパンケーキ Now, if I was here soon in this situation, I'd be like, What are you doing? Why are you buying me this? You never buy things for me.、Uh, he, he seems like he would. Let, let's just say that. He seems like he wouldn't be the type. So, that's it. そこいつも並んでいるからなかなか手に入らないのに Her eyes were shining like little girls. It was an expression that I used to see for I was used to seeing from her. What does she need to do? Oh, wait, no, I gotta. It's no may look a cocket in a she. The good of the call you present or could it not be? Mesra she ne. ありがとうすごく嬉しい。あ、うん。After seeing how happy she was, I couldn't tell her that I was trying to bribe her. Typically, Mr. Talk or something. It, it was like, it, it was different than I typically remember whatever the Taku、uh, names are typically. Taku. Yes, Taku. Yes, Taku. Typically, when you bribe someone, You don't tell them that you're bribing them. Or do you? I suppose it depends on the bribe now, doesn't it? Hmm. What an interesting discussion. Why am I talking about this? <laughs> I, I, my weird little rant there wasn't that bad. <laughs> Why was she crying? よかったら半分こしないいいでしょ That... <laughs> um... <laughs> that was more wholesome than I was expecting that to go. I was expecting her to... I suppose maybe he doesn't see her in a way that would make her actually, you know, do something like, I love you. I think he might be overestimating his chances, though. This might work. It also might not. Yoshi. Wakata. Inoka! You two must have really been surprised by my answer. You see, badly overreacted. Omae was so many you can let that go. Yaru Tokyo Yarunda yo. Tada, Saba and Yagelno, Matigre. Shincho Kistai. それからとりあえず今はボードに情報を貼り付けるけれどまとめ終わったら一旦剥がそうことは簡単じゃないんだオッケーそれから事件のことに関してはとりあえずクルスに秘密にしようそれでほとぼりが冷めるまで様子を見つつクルスが甘いものでも食べて機嫌がいい時に切り出すんだオッケーじゃねえだろうただのヘタレじゃねえか<笑> A little But I mean It's not necessarily a bad thing What? ヘタレじゃないもとも成功率の高い方法を弾き出したらこうなるんだそれをヘタレと呼ぶのはヘタレの定義として Oh boy this again はいはいわかったわかったほらおのえ地図貼るからそっち持て Yes, he's taking a very shrewd and debatably cowardly way to approach it. Who cares, basically?、Uh, Ito and Serika took out the big map we use for the board. He didn't get it at all. There's no way I could persuade,、uh, persuade Kirisu if I、uh, tried to go after her head on. True, there is definitely an element to this where it's.、Um, He needs to be frank. He needs to combine what he's currently doing to 
shape her mindset a little bit so she's at least more willing to be receptive of what he's saying. Even if he... Even... I guess the point I'm making is that her attitude feels like something where she would reject things on the premise of it's not what I currently think on a lot of this topic at the moment. Making her a little bit more receptive might help, but you still need to be frank afterwards, right? You need to be sincere, truthful about what you think, why you want to do it, and then do that. I think you can, you know... Both can work, basically. He had a very serious tone in his voice as he hung up the top of the map. I've been serious the whole time. Sono Daijovanoka Jiken Ote Bakara Isres said to Xre Hetarez and Izo, Shincho Nandazo. Calm down, no one gives a fuck. Janakte Umae Yopodonomo Mitandaro Sono Love Hotel. Sergei froze midway through the process of taping down the bottom of the map. So, that was it. I hadn't told Ito anything about the Oplova Hotel at the moment. I hadn't told him about what I'd seen or experienced there. Ooh, good thing we got a videotape. Can traumatize him, too. I tried my best to give him a cheerful smile. I think the right answer here is... It's not a clear answer, but I want to go after it, and if you want to back out, fine. You can you can pursue this in whatever way you want. I don't want to peer pressure you into feeling like you're obligated to do it. <sighs> that would be the right answer, then. He said an answer. He stared at me as if trying to figure me out. And then he relaxed and laughed a little. Ma <laughs> Probably talking about the call I made yesterday. After I made the discovery, I called Ito and asked him to find all the information he could about the Love Hotel case. It had already been three days since it had happened. I hadn't really been following it all, so I asked Ito to put together what he could find. Hi, Iyo. Serka finished pinning the map on the board. Okay, let's get started. Brand new map, Shibuya. I put, uh, put it up from scratch again, but now that I looked at it, maybe that wasn't such a bad thing. Uh, there's pro it sounds like there's a lot of information for uh, about those faces and where they've shown up. I wonder if you could, but it's typically in like text formats, and, like someone saying like, oh, I saw it here, 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 uh, that sort of thing. It would be difficult to comb all that information, and what I was thinking of like putting them all on the map, basically. Uh, I made a huge discovery which can impact the whole case. It's a good idea to start over from the beginning. まず、6年前の事件と日付の関連性があるという前提で進めよう。つまり、今まで起きた よし。場所から行くか。Oh no. The first case this time, you're saying? Because I don't know the previous ones. De, sono yoga. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Chinami, why are you making me choose these things? 
Which one would... This is the only one that looks like it has a... Which one even looks like it has a group setting? This one, I guess? I have no idea. I have no idea. Can you tell me if I'm right or wrong? Is this is a weird mechanic. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to do anything logical with this. I'm just... で、その概要がちなみに同じ日付の6年前の事件はえっと妊娠男だから。I can't see that one clearly. I don't know. That one sort of vaguely looks like there's something bulging in the stomach area. This one might also this one could also maybe be that. Eeny meeny miny moe, we catch a tiger by so if it hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny miny moe. I have no fucking clue. It's not gonna tell me if I get them wrong, is it? Yoshi,じゃあ最後にラブホの事件だ。場所は道玄坂のラブホ街だから。what? Oh no, did I get it wrong? Wait, did I get it wrong? Oh no, this is stupid! Yes. Yes. I don't have this information. It had information like pop up about this stuff like twice and threw pictures across the screen. Why the fuck would I remember this? Fuck that. I don't know. I don't want to fucking guess and check at this. That's legitimately moronic. What the fuck? Okay, so did I just guess the first one wrong? Or sorry, the second one wrong between the two? Because the other one I was gonna guess, I've now advanced. Or Ito's looking at me seriously because he's like, You did it wrong again. You did it wrong again. Get the fuck out. Game over. We're deleting the game from your fucking computer. Stop. You know what? Remember to clean up, guys. Remember to clean up. I don't know. That's stupid. That's stupid. It's not even logic. It's just a stupid memory game on something for half of it. Half of it's super easy because we've, like, talked about it constantly. And then the other half just, like, flew by at some point and expects us to guess from context clues. And it's not like most of them are clear. Whatever. It's dumb. Dumb mechanic for this sort of game. I looked at Ito. I could see he was nervous. He was worried, but at the same time, a little excited. うん、どうした大丈夫かいや、そうだな。まずは伊藤が<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Ito got out of Spokycom and started to fiddle with it. He linked the printer over the network and printed out his files. Wait. やっぱサーバーにはあげないんじゃんか。当たり前だ。殴られるのは嫌だ。だから怖がりすぎだってば。Actually, punch you before? Or are you just scared of that? I skimmed the printout that Ito made for me. After all the cases we researched together, he knew how to summarize information into a single page like a pro. Ito read it from his own printout. Shibuya Zaiju de 
更新でアルバイトしていたらしい。Here's another thought. I had that little speculation last time about how maybe the target wasn't actually the guy who got killed. You could kill someone and it could just be. It could be a distraction, even, right? Especially since the knockings came later. Maybe it was meant for that girl instead, right? But let's say that is potentially true. We can assume the first two cases were, in fact, meant for those two, given we heard the knocking when we saw it in, like, the prologue or what do you want to call that? I wonder if any of these previous cases in the previous one, like, if we try to go back and, like, hmm, are there similarities? If some of them were, like, the publicized killing or something like that, wasn't the actual target of what was going on? Because, I mean, it's just what the people know about, right? If you're trying to do something behind the scenes, you don't. Unless there's something involving the public actually knowing, I suppose. But if you're trying to do something relatively behind the scenes, even with a bit of a public element to it, you don't necessarily have to make that public element representative of what you're actually trying to do, right? They've been making a lot of money off the Shibuya reconstruction. Shibuya News no Joho Dori, Nijudai no Dan Seda. Sasuga, so go check Kusterga. Was about the only thing I could do, he just said as he nodded. Tsuga, Nijudai to Genkyu Stano, a chicken, no atta hino netoraji hoso dazo. Mada sono dankai deva, dono baitai mo dan se no hen stai ga hakken sarita to shka hapio stenagata no. I couldn't agree more. How did Kay do her research? That's the official? Okay. A suicide over a fight with a lover. Hmm? Oh. あ、なるほどな。did he say girlfriend? Or did he just say romantic? He looked through a bunch of files on Pokecom. Yeah, that's I mean, I don't trust any of this information. It feels like they're putting out a story to have a story out there because they're incredibly confused by what happened. I isn't that inaccurate? Wasn't what happened the cop showed up and found the two like that and then got into a fight? I thought they called from but just based on what happened to the detective, I thought they called the uh, room a bunch of times and were like, that's really suspicious, let's call the cops. And then the cops came and then all that happened, right? What's going on? So they hadn't said anything about the other girl at the scene. I mean, that's not the part. I, I guess you wouldn't know, but. Taku. Uh, Serko staring at me confused. She was probably thinking the same thing. I could understand why there wasn't any information about us. The police had said there wouldn't be. And to be honest, we were just gawkers. There's no real point in telling anyone we were there. That girl clearly seemed to be involved in the case. But they said he got into a fight with his girlfriend. Then it didn't make sense not to report the girl who was there. I wasn't sure, but she did look young. She definitely wasn't older than 19. No, even then, they'd say something. Whenever there's a problem with someone dating underage girls, they never report the girl's name, but they always reported her existence. Well, as far as you know, how many crime scenes have you been able to confirm they're telling the truth on all the time? I suppose it's probably easier for them to 
lie about this. The real reason they wouldn't lie is because there's probably a lot of people that would be like, especially with people with like connections and family and stuff like that, are like, yeah, none of that makes sense. What are you talking about? Let's go to the press. Uh, for him, it sounded like he didn't have any connections, so they could probably get away with that easier. Oh, are you going to make me select the traumatic looking thing? Sure. Great. これは。ラブホの現場で撮った画像だ。はっ。と、撮ったのか。It almost jumped on me in shock. I nodded. 正確には録画した映像を切り取ってプリントアウトしたやつだ。警察に消される前に尾の絵が個人のストレージに上げておいてくれた。マジかよ。やばいだろこれどこにも出てねえぞ。which is a little irresponsible, especially if the cops don't have it. Ito put his face up to the picture in excitement. He's figuring out what happened, and yeah, that's gonna be a fun conversation. He mumbled to himself as he stared at it, trying to memorize every last detail. As I listened to Ito speak excitedly, I turned towards Erika. I wasn't sure why I was looking at her. But she nodded as if she understood. I nodded back. Police had told us not to tell anyone, but I did not care. I slowly started to explain what happened. How we made it into the hotel, what we saw in the room, how we gone inside, what we found, how the body was sitting, and how there had been another girl there and how someone tried to enter the room. But I didn't tell him how the door had unlocked itself. The police had told me I'd imagine it, and they made me realize I had no proof. Between my curiosity and my fear, I've been a mess at the same time anyways. And more than anything, without any kind of proof, I wasn't sure it happened at all. That's another element to this. Hmm. If it unlocked, there is the potential implication. Oh, they mentioned some, it feels like they mentioned something about a locking mechanism in the room. I'm not remembering it, like something that might have been timed. Am I remembering that incorrectly? Because I'm just thinking like, if there's some like time locking mechanism that they could use to because the main reason I'm thinking about this is because I feel like there's something mentioned relative to them getting locked in near the end when it wouldn't open and it like locked again. There's something relative to that that um they mentioned something about a locking mechanism and I'm not remembering it anymore. But I'm thinking if that had some sort of timer or something else to it. You could do a lot of interesting things without actually being physically there to unlock a door is my point. <coughs> We have video evidence of knocking. It at least implies something was happening on the other side, even if they weren't trying to go in. That's right. That's what the police had told me. Fine. Dude, Seriously, why don't they mention if the police have this or not? It sounds like they don't. But they should. If they went and deleted it, they wouldn't be just like, well, this is useless. They'd be like, this is valuable evidence. So again, it's like either someone in the police is trying to cover it up, or they're super irresponsible police. It's a plot hole. I'm guessing plot hole seems possible, but... Eh. <laughs> One of those things that's gonna bother me constantly until they address it directly. Um. Hmm. What exactly did he say again? Just the sound, as not prove someone was on the other side of the door knocking. True. 
but there was the sound of knocking and of discord. But yes, he is right. You shouldn't make any assumptions about uh, someone being on the other side. We do, know that we do know there was a sound that sounded like someone knocking. It was a consistent pattern, which implies intention or automation. One of the two. Uh, it was also a sound that was audible and capturable by a video. Which, again, I do sort of want to go back. Let's show it to Ito. Oh, maybe we'll do that right now. That's such an absolute statement that it's like anti-logic in itself. <laughs> uh, don't call me an idiot. I just prefer to cover all my bases. Damn it. He can only say that because he hasn't heard it in person. That eerie, that strange, eerie sound which hung in the depths of your ears and wouldn't let go. But that was true. I hadn't seen her myself, someone trying to enter the room. See, trying to enter the room in itself is only an implication by the knocking. Uh, maybe you took my silence as agreement. You don't want to hear the knocking? Oh, come on. That's such a good opportunity. If I was Ito, I was like, logic's important. It's... The, the real important stuff is to, uh... Less so logic, logic. Logic is, you know, important. But it's more so, you know... Assessing the evidence. Rather than necessarily taking someone else's take on it as the... Uh, definitive demonstration of what that is. So I work in uh, I work in validation and engineering. That's what I do professionally. That's my career, basically. Uh, and one thing that is just so painfully constant sometimes is I have I've had few coworkers that love to jump to conclusions. Uh, so sometimes I'll ask, "Hey, what happened?" They'll explain their conclusion about what happened, and maybe it doesn't sound quite right. The real answer isn't, well, it's probably this other thing. No, it's, here, let me look at it myself, see if I can give you another take, see if I can confirm or potentially give another perspective relative to what you think is the case about this, just so we, you know, actually cover all our bases, that sort of stuff. <laughs> you know. The important thing is being able to get different perspectives, different interpretations, and understand that their interpretations, I suppose, is the biggest part of it. True? I wasn't sure, but if Sarah said so, she was probably right. I mean, we only had a little bit of interaction. Sarah never had any evidence or proof of her statements, but she is often correct. I look back to Ito to check. Ah, gossip is a まとめ引きまで全部覗いたけど、そんな情報はなかった。I see. だとすれば、やっぱりこっちから追うしかないか. I flip through the remaining papers. 別の手がかりがあるのか? 映像を見返して気づいたことがあるんだ。ちゃんとした理屈だ。なんせちゃんとした証拠があるからな。へへへ。小さい男だな。<laughs> Very true. Say what you like. It's finally time to tell Ito, uh, Ito what I did, what I found. It's finally time to tell Ito what I found.
これなんだかわかるか Dell looked at the picture for a moment uncertain. This is Pokemon to run a search. Sorry. So, Dixie Shield. Sorry, late night echo still. So, you're about it. None no mock take the Haraditor Kawakarana in Azono Shield. Kigan was shot at Arkado, Neto de Sagar Dastano, Nisan Nana and Goro. Two thousand seven. So these came before the first game stuff. Oh, are these not new? I assume these were new to this. Huh. I assumed it was like as part of the reconstruction, things were getting slapped up. Huh. Interesting. At one point, they were famous enough that TV stations were reporting on them, but after the 2009 Chibi、uh, quake, everyone stopped talking about them. The city where the stickers were going up had been destroyed. People had bigger things to talk about. But starting sometime last year, they started to appear in Shibuya again. Okay, so they, has, they have started to go up again, but it's just a second coming, much like everything else? Um. That would be weird. It would be a very weird marketing campaign for someone's face if no one can figure out who it is. それは単に太っている顔だからっていうだけの理由で誰かがそう言い出したことで力士をモデルにしたなんてことは確たる証拠としてちょっとストップ。いつも cut me off as I was getting started。あまあめ、just about to get good。いや、それが何だっつんだ？そのシールと事件と何か関係あんのか？わからない。Probably not your best foot to put forward for、uh, convincing him. Mada Wakaranaida. Demona Cochimina no Kemba Kinyata Dixi Shirua. Don't look at me, was it's, it's this one because it was like out and about, right? We saw it up on like、uh, high on a building. これこの前お前に見せた画像を拡大したやつこっちみんなの現場を取りに僕が行ったカラオケボックスの外壁部分力士シールかうん多少ぼやけてるけど間違いないお,おいまさかああラブホの現場にもあったんだよやっぱり現場が見える位置に。じゃあ、あれか、おともれたんもかいや、それもまだわからない。昨日調べたんだけど、少なくとも、今まで撮った現場周りの画像には映ってなかった。でも、But it could be at something where it happened before, cause she basically killed herself before she went to do her show, which means it, that wasn't necessarily the actual quote unquote scene. 二つ続いた偶然にかけてみるのはありだって今回証明されただろう It's a fast silent as if he was thinking about something Ah That's helping me be a little bit more surprised But I guess that's the best I could expect Maybe there's too much new information coming in at once for him to keep up ちなみにラブホテルの事件と同じ日付の六年前の事件は貼り付けだから I suppose this one does have a well actually it could be either of these couldn't it this looks more obvious though I'll fucking know でその概要が I'm not reading those 
If I ever play Chaos Ed, I don't want to read those.今のところ日付は yeah, I was just thinking about that. Uh, they are sort of like posed in a real showy way relative to the other ones which weren't nearly as showy. だから、他に事件を汚染がない以上、歴史シールからもう一度事件を探ってみるのもありだと思う。But maybe I was overthinking this, but there's no telling what else would be related to the case. Aren't those also everywhere? If anything, it would probably be a safer logical bet uh, that it's more correlation rather than causation or even connection. Uh, just in case, I decided to put up the data on the other new generation incidents from six years uh, six years ago. Uh, the vampire. Oh, that's uh, what day is it? It's it's that's like a week off maybe. Brain two. Is that like off to the side, like well away? Actually, that looks like it's on the train. Even okay, that's probably why it's uh out of the uh. Area. It started on the train and ended off the train. Yay. Yummy hat. <laughs> sort of a silly name. DQN puzzle. Huh. I looked at the board and nodded in satisfaction. There is an interesting element to this that it all seems to be located to a specific side of the city, doesn't it? Is it is this all Shibuya? Or is it just the uh west side that's Shibuya maybe? Hmm. No, I don't drink coffee. As I finished going over the information, Erica got some cups ready. Oh no. <laughs> Kasuki, who had been ignoring the conversation up uh, up until now, suddenly stood up. Uh, she grabbed the cups from Serika with a speed you never believed she possessed. Oh, does she feel as though this is her obligation? The thing she contributes? Kasuki shook her head rapidly from left to right and motioned for Serika to sit down. Good work. Oh, I practically forced Erica to sit, in her ta uh, sit down in her chair. <laughs> now there's no way I was letting Serica do any kind of cooking. Oh, that's why? Okay, got it. How bad was she? She was so bad that I couldn't let her make coffee. She was so bad that she once asked me what kind of dish show I used to wash the vegetables. I breathed a sigh of relief as she reluctantly sat down. I see why she feels an obligation to do it. Even Kazuki was relieved enough that he could actually tell what she was feeling for once, and she decided to make the coffee. I turned around to see if Ito needed any. Thoughtful. He's still like my favorite character <laughs> at this point. He's still thinking. He must have been thinking hard. He didn't even seem to notice that Serika was making coffee, which normally would have been cause for a panic. Uh. I decided to, uh, for now, I decided for now to put the coffee that Kazuki had made in front of him. He seemed to understand this, uh, uh, the situation and stretched out his hand. Nah, that hotel's scene from the 6th floor is still there. Oh, listen to it. 
do it. まあな。僕のポケコンとスマホに入ってる。それ以外は危ないから削除したけど。He so glared at my Pokecon for a moment, then turned towards me. I wasn't sure what to do. He must have been able to sense my uncertainty. In a TV show or a movie, this is where the hero would say, There's no going back. Undergoing a shocking event changed the way you felt about the rest of your life. When you learned a hidden secret, it changed you. Just like when I learned about my parents. Hmm. Hmm. Ito saw that I was hesitating and cut me off. It didn't seem like he was going to change his mind. Yay! Serka, the only person who seemed to understand the gravity of the situation, spoke up. Maybe she just didn't think it was important. Shin-chan is a bean, don't you? Has to. Fantastic. Again, Ito, if you wanna, you know, back out, this is a. This is not. This is not obligatory for being in the club. Let's say that. Dana. To smile as if he'd relax a little. He brought his hands up to his cheeks and gave them a slap to psych himself up. Yes! Ja, Ichiji taking your desktop puny copy is your. And then he froze. Oh, oi. at the monitor. He's a voice shaking. Sarah and I hurried behind him to see what he was looking at and gulped. Hmm? Oh, okay, so this is something online. Huh? The curtains opened and the man appeared. That's where the face was, wasn't it? There's no mistaking it. That was that room in the Love Hotel. The man must have been Yagida. I couldn't see her face, but was the girl? It had to be her. Her clothes matched what I remembered. Why? Why? Did that blink? <laughs> I knew it! They were using it like freaking security cameras. The bed spun around and the wire dug into Kakina's neck. There's no sound in the video, but I could hear the sound of the wire and the music box in my mind. <coughs> Kakina's face took on a color very similar to what I'd seen in person. And the footage ended. Oh, that's what we should do. We should go. There was footage of the, um. There was actually quote unquote better footage, right? That was uploaded. By that uh, K person, right? Of the uh, uh, leaky noise one, right? We should go look for where that would have been, like relative. Oi, <laughs> Miyashiro! I was jumped off the ground. Huh? He so yelled at me hysterically. I wasn't outside the window. I quickly shook my head.
Zaku's hand suddenly stretched out. Wait, what? Stop! Wait. Wait, is she strangling them to stop them from fighting? She grabbed us both by the cheek and pinched hard. Okay, no. Not strangulation. It sort of sounded like it for a second, though. Ow, ow! This is really painful. Please stop. Then I nodded and Sarah let go. He took rubbed his cheek and gave Serka an angry glare. She must have grabbed him really hard, because I can see a red mark forming in the shape of her hand. Does that mean I had one of those too? Serka repeated. She didn't seem to think she'd done anything wrong at all. Now, maybe she hadn't. <laughs> Katsuki gave Serka a thumbs up. <sighs> Serka gave a satisfied thumbs up in return. <laughs> I didn't get it. Those words impress me. It's one of the most accurate predictions I'd heard in years. Serka frowned and said that she never do that. It's not a hit if it's just a pinch, right? Uh, she pointed it to the monitor. She didn't seem too bothered by it. She must have been used to seeing gory videos because she looked pretty calm. I rubbed my cheeks as I looked on. Soto <laughs> I nodded a little uncertain. I mean, unless someone like recreated it somehow, well, that would be weird. ね、保存しておいた方が良くない。あ、あ、そうだな。こんなもんいつ消されるかわかんねえ。that was enough to bring Ito back to his senses. He saved the file to the PC with a slightly more unsteady hand than usual. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. It sounds like the other ones, because of the streaming and because of the public performance, all had very public uh, showings to the shit that went down. This one didn't. I wonder if the police keeping it on the down low for someone's hand to force them to post an image, basically. Kazuki was still playing her game, but the rest of us stared at the download bar as it filled up little by little. And when it finished, and the file was saved... Serika knew better than anyone else that it was no such thing, but she asked anyway. I nodded firmly. <sighs> It's a frown. There isn't? Isn't that a common thing to use IP addresses to get a, uh, I guess a general location? Depends how specific. Mind you, I would highly expect anyone to have uploaded it to not use their, uh, to not be broadcasting the proper IP address. Uh, sometimes the media would say the police use an IP address to track down a criminal's address, but strictly speaking, that wasn't quite right. Under some special circumstances, like a customer paying for a static address, it was possible, but most of the time you couldn't track down an individual PC from an IP address. Well... That's most cases, basically. 
No, I, I get what you're saying. An IP address is basically the unique identifier for the, uh, for the actual device. And if you're not part of some system that tracks that in some capacity, it's not like the IP address itself has location info baked into it. It's more that there's registries and whatnot that can be used to get a general idea of where that would be. I think. I might be wrong in parts of that. And even if you could, the most you could track down was a PC, not a person. Several years ago, this uh, had led to a very famous false arrest case. What the heck were we supposed to do now? Scratch my head, confused. Which makes for an excellent time to say, that's probably enough for today. Uh, like I said, late night echo. Uh, late night echoing, so. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel a little validated because we saw the little blink. That definitely was from where, when the, where the um, sumo thing was. I know they're not aware of like, supernatural shit going on, but... They should know there isn't a place to take a video from over there. That's why they went in the first place. They should be aware of that. I'm still a little disappointed that Ito hasn't listened to the video yet. See if he can hear the knocking. I just want to confirm or deny that, basically. So. Oh well. So. I'll see you all next time on Chaos Child. Drive safely, everyone.